All right, we're talking the basics of hard money lending today. My name is Matt Strong with Sierra West Funding, and we're jumping right into it. So what is private hard money lending? In my world, that would involve properties that are not owner-occupied or primary residents. That would include non-owner occupant, fix and flip, bridge, short-term investment loans. Typically, I don't require monthly payments, small commercial or multifamily. And my area is mostly in Utah, but I will do some out-of-state loans. So fix and flip is the primary investment vehicle that receives hard money funds. I started out as a fix and flip investor myself starting out in 2004. I've done over 430 fix and flips, representing about 54 million in purchased value. Now, I haven't kept great track of this, but I estimate that over the years, I've paid my hard money lenders over $4 million in interest. Now, this is an exciting number for me because without the availability to have those funds, I would have not been able to purchase any properties. And without paying that interest, I would not been able to properly leverage and then make profit on my deals. So the estimated profits I would have made without hard money is zero because I never would have bought any properties. So at Sierra West Funding, we have funded uh, about 850 loans since our inception in 2010. That represents about 215 million in loan funding. And going back to the concept of my own deals, the borrower's profits with the ability to get quick, fast money for their deals is a lot of money. Um, without the hard money, we would not have been able to help them buy those. Without them buying those, they would not have been able to make any money. There is a cost involved, but it's just one piece of the puzzle of the fix and flip budget, which would be your rehab, your soft costs and transactional costs, your cost of financing, which is the hard money, and then, of course, your profit. That all works into your deal analysis uh, when you estimate your ARV, giving you what you should buy the property for. But point being, the hard money, yes, it is a cost, but the ability to have it and leverage allows you to make money that you wouldn't have made otherwise. It's using other people's money. In this case, it's just in the form of the debt. So what is private or hard money? Typically, when you go get a loan through Wells Fargo, Bank of the West, U.S. Bank, Credit Union, they're great and they have a place, but they are typically not your best source for a quick turnaround loan with little to no underwriting or appraisal and the ability to turn it around in a couple of days. Traditional banks are great for that 30 year fixed loan product at a super low rate. I have plenty of those myself and there's a time and a place to use all of this debt. A bank is going to require typical underwriting like W-2s, uh, bank statements, three years of tax returns. Um, uh, basically a full credit profile. If they're good, they can get it done in maybe 20 days, but typical turn times are 30 to 40 days. The cost is gonna be somewhere around a one point origination fee and, and whatever market rates are. Four to 6% has kind of been the historical average, but right now rates are lower, like two and a half, three percent 3%. And the property types that they offer can loan on, um, is is more expansive than private or hard money in that they mostly specialize in owner occupied they also do investment loans commercial loans stuff like that but they take a lot longer to get done there's way more underwriting and typically it does not fit the timetable and the needs and the condition for which most properties are in now hard money i'm just going to call it hard money from now on some people call it private or you know non-bank financing we're just going to call it hard money and hard money basically started because you're 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 lending on a hard asset, meaning the 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 house or the property. So that that's where I think the term hard money um, originated from. So every hard money lender is going to act and, and behave a little differently, as far as document required. Thinking back to that, we are asset based. I am most worried about the property, and the value add component for that property. So I am asset based. I do worry about the borrower and their ability to perform and their ability to perform on the rehab and, and exit out of a hard money loan, but I'm a lot more concerned about the property itself and the value of the property and the value that's being created. So when I look at it, I, I don't require as much documentation as a traditional bank. 
Um, I have a two page checklist, which I'm happy to share. I want to know about the scope of work. I want to know about the timelines of the project. I do want to know some basic personal information about you as the borrower, but I don't require tax returns or, or you know, the in-depth stuff that a traditional bank would want. Timing, this is where hard money is so critical in funding, particularly fix and flip type properties or properties that have some, you know, serious damage to them that's not going to be able to pass a bank appraisal is the timing should be fast, sometimes hours, sometimes days, but certainly it should not take long than three or four days or a week or two to get a deal done from start to finish. The cost, the cost is going to be a little more expensive than a traditional bank. You're looking at one to three points, maybe nine to 15% interest. Now the property type again is pretty much anything except for an owner occupied or primary residence transaction. Drilling down a little further on the loan terms, you got terms in terms of, of, of points up front or origination fees, annual interest, but then also what loan to value or loan to cost you're going to lend. Your typical lending terms are typically um, 70 to 90% of your loan to purchase price. Meaning if you're buying it for 100,000, typically a lender will want you to put a little bit of down payment down. Sometimes a lender could get to 100%. Again, it goes back to the deal and the strength of the deal and the value creation, but typically lenders are wanting you to put 10 to 20 to 30% down on your purchase price. Some lenders have programs where they'll allow you to, to add in the rehab, um, and, and some of those are just on a case by case, but just in general, plan on having 10 to 20% down plus your rehab money. Your points or your origination fee are gonna be one to 3%. Again, every hard money lending is different. Some are gonna be more expensive. Some might be a little cheaper just depending on how competitive the market is. But 1% or one point is 1%. So if you're borrowing 100,000 and there's a one point origination fee, that is a thousand dollar fee. Your interest on an annual basis is going to be, you're going to see anywhere from 8 to 15%. My rates are typically 12%. I'm kind of the 2 and 12 lender, meaning 2 points and 12% annual interest rate. Now, I only calculate the interest for the time that the loan is outstanding. So if you only have the loan outstanding for 140 days, it's 140 days worth of interest. Some lenders might have a... Um, you know, prepayment penalty or, or guaranteed interest payment. You're just gonna to have to look at the terms of that particular lender. Now, this is another differentiator, payments. A lot of lenders want monthly payments. Typically with my loans, assuming we get a proper down payment and have a good plan for the rehab, I do not require monthly payments. So that's certainly something that you should check and ask to your hard money lender. The process. Now the process should be fairly straightforward and easy. We do not require as much underwriting or background information as a traditional loan. So upon receipt of detailed property info, your hard money lender should be able to get you a pretty quick loan commitment and then close the transaction. I know that sounds super simple, but it should not be complicated. If it sounds complicated, and looks complicated, it's probably not like a true hard money loan. It's probably more of like a, a traditional mortgage or it's being brokered multiple times. Maybe the person you're going to isn't the actual source that's gonna fund the deal. So you're kind of doing a daisy chain to get to the actual money. So one tip and recommendation is find a local hard money lender in your area that can respond and act quickly, that already knows the values of the neighborhoods well, so they don't have to rely on a third party to do the evaluation and appraisal. That is what will slow things down. And then obviously be very prepared so you can get whatever information is required to the lender right away.